2015 AMC 12A Problem 20. I saw this triangle T and T prime are not congruent, so they are not the same triangle. So they are not congruent, but have the same area at the same parameter. Very interesting. The size of T have the lengths of 5, 5, and 8, while those of T prime have lengths of A, A, and B. Which of the following numbers is closest to B? So this test is a multiple choice test and you have A, B, C, D, and E. So maybe, maybe plugging in numbers at the end, maybe the easiest way to go for this question. Since you are pressed for time in AMC, and since they are giving us 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6 and 8, if you can get some equation or expression where you can plug these numbers in and check, maybe that's the way to go, maybe. So we, we're going to think about that. So we have the same parameter and area. That's, that's making me think of Heron's formula. Heron's formula. Area of a triangle is equal to semi square root of semi-parameter times semi-parameter minus side A, semi-parameter times minus side B, times semi-parameter minus side C. We know all these semi-parameters has to be the same for both triangle because they have the same parameter. Dividing by 2 is going to get you the same semi-parameter. And you know the area has to be the same. So what's that telling us? That's telling us this expression, S minus A times S minus B times S minus C is the same for both triangle T and T prime. What is S for triangle T? For triangle T, our semi-parameter is 5 plus 5 plus 8 over 2, also known as 9. So we have S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, or 9 minus 5 times 9 minus 5 times 9 minus 8. What is semi-parameter for T prime? That's A plus A plus B, or 2A plus B, divided by 2. So we have 2A plus B divided by 2 minus A, 2a plus b divided by 2 minus a once again, 2a plus b divided by 2 minus b, and you want these two expressions, you want these two expressions to be the same. So, let's continue this process. You have 4 times 4 times 1, or also known as 16, is equal to, well, this expression is uh, b over 2, so we have b over 2 and another b over 2, so you have b over 2 squared times uh, this expression is 2a minus b over 2. Okay, so we have gone quite far. What can we do now? Well, let's, let's just expand it. b squared times 2a minus b, all divided by 8. You have 4, 2 squared gets you 4, times 2 gets you 8 down below. And let's multiply both sides by 8. So you have uh, 128 is 2ab squared. I'm expanding now. I'm distributing, I should say, minus b cubed. Okay, so we have very interesting expression. And we wish to find, we wish to find b. So can we somehow, somehow write this expression in terms of b? So you have, let's, I want positive b cubed, so I move it over to the other side. Minus 2ab squared plus 128 is zero. Huh, we don't want to have a, do we? So what, what is the way to go? Well, we know. We know semi-parameter has to be the same. So you know this, this expression is equal to 9. So let me write that. 2a plus b over 2 is 9. Hey, we can solve for a in terms of b. 2a plus b is 18. So a is equal to, you're going to subtract b and divide the entire expression by 2. So let's substitute that into it. So 2 and bottom 2 cancel out. So you have 18 minus b times b squared plus 128 is 0. So you have, what do you have? You have b cubed minus 18b squared plus b cubed plus 128 is 0. Also known as 2b cubed minus 18b squared plus 128 is 0. Let's divide by 2 on all sides. So you have b cubed minus 9b squared plus 64 is 0. And we have some choice of b's. We had 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So which, uh, was, it, was it 7, 8? 5, 6, 8, my bad. I was like, you should only have 5 answer choice. So for, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. And we can try plugging some of them into this equation and see which one is the closest. So plugging 3 into it, you get 27 minus 81 plus 64, also known as, that gets you 
what does that gets you 91 so that's positive 10 let's plug 4 into it 64 minus 9 times 16 plus 64 is equal to you have 128 minus 144 that's negative 16 so hey this when you plug in 3 you get positive 10 when you plug in 4 you get negative 16 so our answer has to be between 3 and 4 but which one is it is it close is it closer to 3 or is it closer to 4 you may say 3 because it's 10 but the concavity of the graph, how the curve is, how the cur whether the, and the and the curvature of the graph is going to determine which one is going to be the closest. So we can't just look at the numbers and decide. So why don't we plug in 3.5 just to be safe? 3.5. It shouldn't take us too long. 3.5 squared is 12.25. If you're wondering how I did it so fast, you may see some eye popping up. And you can click on it to go to my video where I introduce how to quickly mentally square a two-digit number ending with 5. So you have 12.25. Let's multiply by 3.5 once again. That gets you. Oh, that's 5, 2, 1, 6, 5, 7, 6, 3. 57824 and it's about 428.75 and you have 12.25 times 9 so 12.25 times 9 that's 452011 uh, and it's 110.25 oh wait a bit this thing should be 42.875 my bad you want to move the decimal place three times and you have 110.25 um well, what's going on so you, this part is negative so let me let me reverse it so you want 442.875 minus 110.25 plus 64 so let's start by adding 64 so 106.875 and you're subtracting this much so you have 110.25 negative 110.25 plus 106.875 which is going to be negative 3 or negative 4 or something like that so we know when you plug in 3.5 into this equation, you get negative some expression. That's negative 3-ish some expression. So that's telling you as you're going between 3 and 3.5, you're crossing the zero. You're going from positive to negative. So that's telling you the answer is closer to 3. So our answer to this question is 3 or A.